right. Should be getting going quickly here. Just want to check. Okay, looks like we're all good. We're good to go. Boom. Ugh. What a day. What a fucking day. Ada, right? Weird fucking day I've had. All right, we're going to play some fucking uh, Fallout. All four. Just for the fuck of it. Here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people here now. Uh, I totally don't remember what I was doing. Um, I still don't remember what I'm doing. Head hunting. Oh, let me just speak to this crazy thing. Okay, Ada, Ada, Ada. No, no. All right, let me just check my inventory here. Because this is like half the fucking game. Um... I mean, really, half the game is just checking inventory. Make sure you get something left, you know, open to fucking uh, to push it in. So hey. here we go. How may I be of service? I don't think she has anything on her. Don't know. Hey. I'd be happy to. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. I, I think it's there gonna take go. more than a moment. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Maiden? Oh, that's simply, weird. It's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. <laughs> you tell me. Hopefully, this particular robo brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. Wait, General life? Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily to accelerate the decision making process. Hmm. Free thought and individuality was never oh, okay. intended. Oh, I was wrong. These were expressly built like soldiers to follow orders without question. The robo brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Hmm. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when oh. it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's Codsworth like that? What? Why would Codsworth like that? I feel like I've been failing in my What the fuck? What does Codsworth have to do with this? The day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. There goes Codsworth again. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the mechanist's facility. Why did the camera shift there? Okay. Once and for all. All right. So, build this fucking crazy robo brain a body. There you go. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. 
What kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. Oh, thanks. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. Thank you so much. Sorry, Your Highness. The Royal Taylor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Why did General Atomics make you so... Uncooperative. I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. I am a top of the line model with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven. First Codsworth. When given a set of instructions, <laughs> I will complete them without question and without error. Now, were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? Tell me everything you know about the mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Yeah, shooting them is... Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. I shoot him in the fucking head. The easiest way to yeah. help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging <laughs> I was going to say that's probably what it's going to be. It's, uh, it, it's best for humans to die because they, they're going to die anyways. tends to result in numerous complex side yep. effects. The mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction. Oh, this could get interesting. People. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. So maybe the mechanist actually thought that they were actually energies. helping, but in reality, a they're killing people. He just doesn't know. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. That's interesting. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the mechanist's facility? I promised to answer your questions, and unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really, in order to gain entry to the mechanist's facility. You're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. I don't think Just I... go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? At least now I'll have time to work on my pi to the last digit calculation. Oh boy. Where the fuck... Oh, hey, Ada. This, this fucking person's crazy. Hey. Yes, sir? Hey, Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Ah, uh, pretty difficult. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? Think we can trust what Jezebel said? I'm hoping she doesn't have her own interpretation of the word access, too. We'll soon find out. What did she have to say? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. 
In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification Great. Card. So you have to As put a new? As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco sales and service center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? Did you have any ideas? I am at an impasse. I wish to see the mechanist endure the same fate as my friends, but I know this to be due to my personality subroutine. Hmm. When I compartmentalize, I want so she to know reason and motive before passing judgment. Kind of this is why I leave the decision to you. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Heads up. Yes. Hey, Ada. These are for you. Uh, heads up. Okay. <laughs> I just love how she just randomly gives me stuff. Um, so. All right. It's always fascinating watching you create. All right, you got an M set now. See what happens. I hope you realize how much you did for us. <clears throat> okay. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk. She is a fucking bitch. And there's the phone. Shut the fuck up. Alright, so I take him probably. Yeah, why not? I say him like it's a thing. What the fuck? Right, so where are we going now? Uh, Opco sales. That's weird. How the fuck did I miss this when I was over there? I mean, I was right there. How would I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm close to level forty-three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, a mag gun. Hmm. If they're out there, we'll find them. What? Why? I cleared this out already. Ada, you are great at getting in my fucking way. Ada, Ada. Uh, okay, you need you need to calm down, Ada. Uh. Well, he's dead. Got your stim pack. Nothing else. Sorry. Right, let's go. Why am I running? Ruining my core. Uh, we're going south. I guess I could look at the map, but I never do, so. Still like this game for what it is. Even though a lot of people, eh, they didn't like it too much. The only thing is, I still don't like him talking. <laughs> Something about the old ones with, um, where the guy just doesn't talk. It kind of puts you right in the, you know, character. Well, hello there.
finally getting cold in Michigan, and now my air, my heater is freaking loud as hell. So that's always gonna be fun. Uh, might have to actually uh, think it in my head, but I'm talking out loud. That's weird when I stream. <laughs> Place the the uh, filter on the furnace. I I got a whole list. I think the game's broke. What's going on here? Can we can we move to the next one, guys? Hello. Hello. Not good. Very not good. The first time this ever took this long. Oh. What was that all about? Thank you, Ada. Without you talking, psh, I don't know what the hell I would do. Um, radio, yeah. I want to get the Ink Master alarm clock. What the hell? Thank you. Uh, whatever. Where was the one that was working? Oh, this one. You can certainly turn off of the business mind of the daily itinerary pull directly from your messages and calendar generates itself huh. okay wow it's got a calendar man that's that's way beyond the future add that personal touch to your business One, two, three. Dislike small talk. New messaging system will automatically timestamp corporate intramail. Wow. It's amazing. Anyways. Um, Ada, settle, settle down. All right, just, we're, tr we're trying to find some shit. Enhanced targeting card. Wait, is that a switch? What is this? No, oh, no, okay. Uh. Wait, do I have to unlock it? Hey, Ada! It is nice that I don't have to do this anymore. I just you should be able to use the terminal now. Yeah, I don't get the experience, but eh, it's a lot quicker. Announcements to all staff as a reminder: uh, here to the following standards. There be no tampering with any shipments labeled RB twenty eight fifty one. So they're special shipments that no one could touch. Everybody needs to wear name tags. Customers, friends, and family are no longer allowed in the back service area. Hmm. Terminal just suddenly stopped working. She's getting the default error message. Said it started crashing over time. Now it won't even try. So much for suddenly. From the look of her, I'm guessing there's about a whole cat's worth of hair in that terminal. Whew. Wow. Sent out any of her intramail. She also said there was a complete failing in the notification system. Not sure where the issue is. She says her IT department checked the computer and wasn't sure why it wasn't working. Brought it back here, threatened to sue. I guess it really screwed up some important meetings for her. Evaluation looks like Carmike sabotaged his computer before he quit. I guarantee now I'm thinking it's Carmike or some. I don't know. I don't know if it was personal or his last hurrah. I think I can see what he did here, but I don't want to make any promises. I recommend replacing this terminal with a new one. Ooh, spyware. I like this guy. Kelvin. Ancient terminal, it's the last it's at least seven years old.
you need more memory, which is... This, <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Save control. Where was the safe? Do you see a safe? Ah, shit. We found the safe, Ada. Alright, where are we going? Ooh, nice little tripwire. Where is it? Thank you, Ada. What are you doing? That was really fucking close. <laughs> All right. Um, don't do that again, please. Uh, yeah. No more trip wires, it looks like. You know what? I'm not going to have it out yet. You know, just in case. Maybe he just wants to talk, you know? Work order. Liberated? Okay. Hmm. I thank you. I'll take those tubes. Ada, please. Broken terminal. Probably come in handy. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Ada, you're 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 so helpful. Can you get the fuck out of my way? See anything else that I missed? Maybe over here. Vacuum tube. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. So this is where Ada comes in handy. What's this go to? Out oh, to the Commonwealth. Well, I don't need that yet. Be the vault. Maybe it is like the vault. Um, well, that didn't take a while, did it? Uh, we got radiation. Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. Jesus, how many robotic fucking doors we got? Oh my shit. Is this for real? Um. Hello there. Uh. We're, we're here to see the mechanist. Or mechanist. Looks like you're busy. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk. All right, so there's a jumpsuit here, mechanist jumpsuit, and I'm wondering, or I should say, hoping. 
this is how this works. I think it's nice. Maybe it's in here, or do I have to, um, another body, huh? Muzzle, calibrated, powerful. I'll take that. The army helmet, 10 mil. What do we got? Fuses? This whole thing for gear. I thought there would be something in here I could turn off, but I guess I was wrong. Because looks like he's been here for a while. Hmm. What's this? Ah. Uh Aha. -huh. Now, I have a feeling that if I do this, it's going to turn that off. But we're going to be fighting a lot after this. That's, that's what I was expecting to happen. Damn, that wasn't like... I had no chance there. Hmm. I'm not really sure... what I can do here. Um... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, jump for joy. That's right, jump, jump. You know, Chris, Chris Cross will make you. Oh. The robot workbench has enormous potential. Not even Jackson managed to discover all the possible permutations. This, this was an interesting development. Uh. What's this do? So that's a decontamination area. Let's display a rank 22 security badge. Hmm. Guess what? Another time would be held for questioning. Last week, counter espionage procedure. In the event of a Class B alert, the facility will enter a minimal security lockdown. All staff have to report to their stations and await further instructions. Uh, escort the members of each department to research labs in level 3. What the hell? Chief scientists shall prepare a Mesmetron equipped Roborbane to aid in the interrogation process? Okay. We're gonna scramble some fucking brains. The experimental nature of the technology, some casualties are to be expected. Um, with cranial eruption. Hmm. That's, uh,. Sounds pleasant. Should any agent be discovered? Do them by any means necessary. They have test subjects. There's a maximum security lockdown of the research wing and a minimal security lockdown everywhere else. Uh, everything activates, blah, blah, blah. Play all available experiment robots to secure the research wing. Hey, guys, somebody got released. Hey, just activate the entire fucking fleet just to see what happens. Uh, these guys are great. And then we have the Epsilon. CD CCP, code conditioning protocol. So, <laughs> so if the robot staff, like, rises up. Wow. Wait, what? Ten business days to determine what the hell they should do? So these people are locked in here for ten days? Ten out of ten, guys. Ten out of ten. That way, that way. Mega protocol. Nuclear detonations, the facility administrator. So this is what happened, pretty much. Hmm. 
Within 24 hours from the active mission initiating an orderly shutdown of the facility, test subjects will be secured in their cells. The staff remaining on site to del delete any sensitive files and records, close down their stations, arm themselves, and collect their personal belongings. So this is 30 hours. The acting manager shall activate lockdown mole omega. This will provide a 10 minute window for staff to evacuate the facility. This sh should be once initiated. Lockdown can only be turned by remote authorization from military robotics oversight committee. Huh. But it didn't blow up. I mean, it's still here. So... Hmm. Let's try and get this, huh? Let's do warned. Nope. P. E. Nope. Nope. Pip boy, that's the first I think I've seen that. Nope. Nit. Nope. Could be. What did I miss? Oh, we can't have an E there. I N T E N T. That could work. I N T. That would have one. That's it. Yes. Is it like doing the opposite? Oh boy. It's like it's not doing anything. Weird. here? Yes. God damn it! What do we got? Jesus. Could be getting out. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Hey, Ada. That's all done. No. There's another. Wow. What? 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 Did you hear that? Oh my shit. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that was, uh, bad.
You're really gonna hit me, dude? What? I'm not even threatening you. All right, see you guys. Come on out. The water's fine. Hey guys. Oh, they hit me. Hey, 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 hey. Hit them. Hit them for God's sake. It's not hitting them? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that was useless. not what I thought, you know. I severely thought it was going to be, like, something completely else. Oh, that's Ada. Okay. I thought that they would fire upon them, you know. <laughs> or was I wrong? Um... Yeah. This is a strap pile... Oh. Yeah. Here. I don't know, by speeding up the door process? I mean, this is fucking crazy. Uh, so, light bulbs. Fuck you, radio. That's actually the scariest part of this whole game is the radio for me, especially because I uh, upload to YouTube. Um, yeah, it, it frightens me to a point that I cannot understand. Yardstick, huh? Anything else? Let's see. Hey, we got soap. We can make some explosives. Uh, what else is in here? Mechanist, whatever the fuck your name is. Let's go. Getting kind of old. Oh. Why? Even you, Ada. No, I don't. Ow! Ada, you, you okay? You're in the fire. I'm not sure if you knew. Ada. Ada. All right. Well. You. 
You take your time there, Ada. Where's the other one? Oh. Oh, this guy was blown to shit. All right, nice. I think, maybe, I'm not sure. Um. Oh, well, hello there. Can't hit it. Picking up something. Lieutenant Justin Screen. Justin, justice. Justice. What am I, Batman? Should some of the control. The idiot from General Thomas got pulled after he left the department efficiency drop below 90%. 90% is crappy. Yep, yeah, I guess. Okay. Laser bunch of good for nothing layabouts. Okay. Does it feel sad? Holy shit. Please report that the department is back up to 100% efficiency now that the section of staff tied to the soldiers. Work is getting done on a budget. On time without mistakes. They run a damn assembly line? No, actually, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Um, what's this? Oh, that was an aggressive beep, Ada. Not sure if I like that aggressiveness. Hold on, I'm stealing shit. I was mistaken. About what? Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to disable all those fucking things, dude. That's the thing. This other thing is running at me somewhere. Who knows where. I hit it now? No. Alright, they're gonna come out now. Cause that's how this shit works, you know. Remind you of brighter days, sir? Yes. There you go. Hey. How may I be of service? Think you can unlock that terminal? Certainly. Let me get that terminal unlocked for you. Hey, you ate it. All done. You should be able to use the terminal now. Oops, and I got a message. Why is it doing this? There you go. What? Well, that sucked. Suck the ass. What does this do? Like, I don't know. Alright. So, I couldn't reprogram them. Oh, wow. Ada, uh, back the fuck up, dude. Ada, can you, can you back up? Resistance is futile. No, it's actually not.
Are they stuck on something? Did I hear like a something like a clown noise? I, I seriously thought I heard something like clown noise, but anyways, what's this? Enemies have a hard time attacking you while you're sneaking and not moving. Hmm. What happened? Am I like hurt somewhere? Am I over my inventory space? Yes. Ada. Hey. Here you go. Have some junk. I'd be happy to help if I can. Well, you just did. Oh, shotgun shell? Yes, thank you. Um, hmm. Quantum, you say. Shreds, you say. Do shreds. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Level up. Let's do that. Um... What was I doing before? I know it was something with science here. Yeah, okay. Uh, rank one. So let me do that really quickly here. So, yeah, sure. Oh, there's fucking four ranks. And I have to do this too. One of these. I wonder if it was blacksmith or, or armor. One of those two. Uh, to do more for Ada. So I can have some cool shit. None of that looks good. None of it. I hear a beeping, so... More dog tags. What about workbench, you say? Oh, this is a workshop? That's Ada? Hey. Thanks, Ada. You're, you're so fucking helpful. Magic. Um, Mr. Handy Model. The subject is all lost. So they just completely killed a brain. Um... The good old brain in a jar prototype. Fucking Futurama style. First batch of rubber brains back from testing and they're a mess. They're cracked domes, thrown... Treads, overloaded fusion piles, fried circuits, the list goes on and on. Someone runs misinterpreting commands. The onboard brain seems to almost th overthink these instructions. Hmm. Speaking in reverse. Interesting. Um. Shit. 
time is it, guys? 5.30. We're almost here. I'm going to end this one here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching now or later. Uh, I might be back to play some more. Probably not, unfortunately. But, yeah, it's been fun. Um, hopefully, like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, you can catch me stream. I don't have a set schedule yet because it's the holidays and work is crazy because of it. Uh, just dealing with a lot of issues there. The holidays in general suck. Everybody gets all happy for the holidays and other jobs. My job, because of what we have to handle, fucking sucks. All right. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support.